So in this video, we will be doing some fun experiments. We will take some rest from our regular videos and try to explore some rare heroes that can push turrets without being dead from the turret shot. Hi guys, Kazuki here and today we will bring out a list of heroes that can push turrets without a scratch. And I am sure you will be amazed to know the results. I will take the inspire as battle spell and make some old build for the heroes to make sure the push battle works. These builds have nothing to do with in-game builds and they might not even work when you use them in real games. However, you can use it to have fun and try to annoy the enemies. We will try to break these two turrets using our heroes. So without any further delay, let's get it started. The last hero is the one that made me the most amazed. So I would highly recommend you guys to watch the video till the end. Estes will be the first hero on the list. I have built him with these items shown on your screen. If you didn't know, Estes passive can deal enhanced basic attacks that can penetrate even the turrets. Amazing damage, right? I will fast forward the boring stuff. I am the chosen one. You destroy the turrets. This worked the on the enemy base too. Holy light will grant me. All right, some of you might know this already, so I will move on to the next hero. Kimi will be the next hero on the list. Since Atik speed does not work with her, I will build her with a full BOD build. There are some sports where you can stand and hit the turret without getting any damage when you use Kimi. Like this place in the video. You can also use this to destroy the top or the bottom turret. The most fun thing is that the base can also be brought down by using the same trick. I don't know how useful this information was but I felt it was worth sharing. The next hero will be our Dragon Lady Masha. We all know she can deal great damage and also use the first ability to push turrets. So with the given build on the screen and Spire, I will try her out. That's some unexpected results. It's not only because of the full build, Masha's passive and HP mechanics also works differently. Let's try to do it again on the enemy base. She is sure having a hard time. The base was too tough for her to handle and she failed to do it. So we will move forward with that. Before we head on further into the video, I would like to inform you that we have massive giveaway ongoing. We will be giving away 20 epic skins when we hit 950k subscribers on our main channel. And it's going to be really soon. Join it today to have the chances to win great rewards. The following hero will be Sun. I have built him with these items shown on your screen. An easy peasy task for him and his bros. Let's check if he can get the base turret similarly. 
Well, Sun couldn't do it. But I think he will be able to do it with the help of a tank. Or if both Masha and Sun participated in breaking the base turret together, it would have been a straight win. Next, I want to include Clint in this list because of his passive. I'm using this build with him for maximum damage output. The process is so slow, but the damage cannot be underestimated. It sure did take time, but he was left unharmed. I'm pretty sure you can do this with the base turret too. The next hero will be someone that many of you are already expecting. Yes. It's Layla. She can still outrange turrets when at maximum level. I will try using this build with her. I was so amazed by the damage that I forgot to use the Inspire. Well, there is one more turret to go. We'll have plenty of time to use it here. She is one marksman with the highest range of all, so there was no doubt that she couldn't do it. Bruno will be another MM that needs to be added on the list and let me show you why. He died but broke the turret in the process. What do you think? Is this a win for Bruno? Do comment down below. Here is one trick where Bruno can be effectively similar to Kimi. I am using this build for him. And while hitting the base turret, he can stay out of range and deal damage. This was new to me. And you can also apply this trick to push the enemy base using Bruno. Victory! The next hero will be another marksman Beatrix. She can easily deal damage using the sniper rifle. So I will go with the maximum damage using the full BOD build for her. She can also use the sniper rifle to deal damage to the enemy base without minions. Going full steam ahead. Ben is one fighter who is here because of his ultimate. Magic build suits more for it to work. So I will go with full blood wings for him. It took some time for him to destroy the turret since he is using his ultimate. But he was neither harmed nor did he need minions. So I think he qualifies for this list. He can do this with the enemy base turret but due to the ultimate cooldown and HP region of the turret, you will only be able to use this once only. So better you team up with someone like Johnson and Sun to go on a turret pushing rampage. Another hero on my list is Claude. I'm using this build for him. His second ability which is Dexter Mirror Image. 
can deal damage to the turret without any minions. So for this reason, I think Cloud qualifies for this list. You can do this for the base turret also. It sure takes time but sometimes this damage can also be deadly when used correctly. And the last hero on this list will be Nathan. He's one MM that I did not expect to be on this list. I will be using this build with Inspire. You can see the damage he is dealing. Let's take a look at the base turret. Every time is the loop. And in just some mere seconds, he destroyed the whole turret. I was just stunned to see this much damage coming out from Nathan. Did you guys know this? If you did, do mention it down in the comments. And also don't forget to mention any other secret tricks that you know about MLBB. And that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.